You just spilled. You spilled just enough to make it look like you've peed your pants. Oh, I did. Yeah. It's not pee. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's of course I'm Rick. He was Instagram, Instagram and Twitter, Twitter. Our juicy content. Mm. Mm. Patreon. Follow us with the camera, ring the bell. Follow the notifications. Go back. Oh my neck. Follow us on personal YouTube channels and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, and uh, hit the like button. Rick, you're doing a lot of uh, Hollywood reviews on your own personal channel. I aren't I you? R I R I R. Uh, calling it. It's something I did a while ago. Calling it this bird's eye view. Seeing everything and anything that comes out as quickly as I can, and then reviewing it, doing Throwback Thursday stuff like that. Uh, actually going to use my rating system. I'm really happy. I finally have one after, what, 50 years of thinking about it? Uh, <laughs> for the movie reviews that we do. So, yeah. that's on. It's my my name, but the the channel, it's everything I do in there is now movie reviews. Well, uh, we I've actually... This is a new Tamil trailer, and I had reacted to this with Steph because it dropped a few days ago. Okay. Um, and uh, everybody wanted you to react to it with okay. me as well. Cool. Um, it's called... Sunny... Kaidam. Forgive me if that's mispronounced. I think it comes out in May. Okay. Uh, Keithy Suresh, Selvara Gavin. And uh, I'm not going to tell you anything else. If I mispronounced else, that, forgive me. Uh, besides that. All right. Uh, Good. I'm glad I didn't watch it because I've watched some of the things that you guys have done. Oh, you didn't watch but it? But I did not watch that okay, one. Okay. No, no, no. Um, and I will just let it happen to you. All right. Do I need to wear protection? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Oh, That's it? incredible. So reductionary. Parent, unna thanda parent na. Sangeya. What are you doing? I'm going to go. What are you doing? I'm going to go. How are you doing? Hey, 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 hey. One. Oh! One. Awesome. It it kind of feels like something Robert Eggers would do for TV. Yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's not TV. It's it's it's, it's a no. I know. If it, it, it feels like a like if 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 he were going to do a TV series, I know mm-hmm. this isn't that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it looks and feels like what he would do if he was doing that. Because especially the whole black and white thing and the bird. Because Robert Eggers has this thing. If you don't know who Robert Eggers, is, he directed The Lighthouse and he directed the film that's out right now with Alexander Skarsgård and Nicole Kidman called uh, uh, The Northman. Um, that was fantastic. Yeah, that was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I wanted to, uh, <laughs> I wanted to make sure you saw it because yeah. I'm definitely going to be watching. Absolutely uh, <laughs> want to watch that one. Uh, it comes out on Amazon on, on, on oh, May sixth. So we've only got like a yeah, yeah, week yeah. and that's out. But uh, awesome. Yeah, it. Uh, at the awesome. end, when I first saw it with Steph, I said it's like a sweet cathartic release. Yes. At the end of the st- <laughs> just yes, I, I and I said I was like I love. Violence, <laughs> yeah, which is actually in my. I said that on this bird's eye view for my review of, of the Northman. While I don't consider it to be, I, don't, I gave it three out of five stars. I don't. I don't think it's like gonna be involved with anything in the awards category. But it's worth watching, especially if you like that kind of film. And it is. I saw it with Micah, and I said it's kind of cathartic, not just for that kind of movie that you like, but it's cathartic and like all that we've gone through with lockdowns and the vaccine debates and the stuff we've come out of with the last election, it was really nice just to watch some Viking warfare where guts and entrails were coming out. It's it, For that alone, it's worth watching. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought this was so interesting because, like, um, one, one, it looked really cool. Looks but really good. The way they're doing it, I thought, was really interesting. The black and white. Yeah. Is that all what is a that? flashback tool? Right. Is, are all these interviews and that... What else confused me? That kid that was just on black and white in the sand. Exactly. What, what is that, that about? Um, are the two this are, are the two of them alter egos of the same people, or yeah. are those two completely separate murderers who like are competing with each other? Yeah, I have zero. And I, I I I I love the weirdness of it and the just disturbing, unsettling amount of just one stab is not enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> With the great sound great behind sound. it, um, great sound, and it, very Hitchcockian in that it, that was graphic, but didn't show us much. Yeah, uh, and we don't get enough uh, female uh, yes. out there. Yes, uh, I mean, granted, if you look at the crime rates and the amount of serial killers that are, yeah. uh, that there are, I mean, I think it's like ninety nine point nine. I was going to say are. nine out of ten are men, <laughs> if not more. Yeah, actually, yeah, it might be like nine point six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a, the men, the men. <laughs> In the Garden of Eden, the man fell a little bit harder. Uh, <laughs> uh, and this director was known. We didn't see it, but maybe we'll react to the trailer. And, and a lot of people said we should watch it. He, he, he's only directed two films, and his last one was his first one was last year. And it was a film called Rocky. No relation okay. to, to actual Rocky. Okay, but apparently it's like this ridiculously um, violent mm. film as well. Like kind of, oh, uh, it's like a cross so, between Tarantino and Robert Eggers. So like he. He, this is what he likes, which cool. is cool. Uh, and, and and these artists, these actors in it, we, we don't know. Uh, we, we're not familiar um, with with her uh, or him. I don't believe. Um, but he he wrote it, directed it, um, cinematography. Uh, I'm in. And I would, I'd imagine this is probably. I'd imagine it's around two hours. A film of this style. I would think. Uh, maybe longer. Who knows? But uh, yeah, it, re- it also had a little bit. Um, he reminded me a little bit of the killer in Love Hostel, just a little bit. That oh, like yeah. that that sense of unstoppable murder machine that yeah. just can't be stopped. And then the fact that she came in and was the exact same. <laughs> yeah, I loved twenty five. I thought it was only twenty four. Yeah, but you, I want to rip out your spine. <laughs> So yeah, that's what I wanted you to watch. Oh, I wanted glad you to I watch saw it. it, so you could see it. And glad I saw it. I'm, I'm pretty darn sure I'm gonna be watching this. Oh one. yeah, I like uh, it. And I like I think, it. I think it said it's Amazon as well. I think it's coming out. Yeah, yep. Amazon Prime. Rock and roll, uh, Amazon. Anyways, keep them coming. Let us know what you thought about this and uh, what should be the next Damal film that we watch down below. This.